How's it going, boys? Danny here. So today I have spent the entire day on the PTR running these dungeon mutations. And to be fair, it's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm going to run you through everything that I found out today. Um, I'm sure there's more that we're going to find out over the next couple of days, maybe a week. I don't know how long it's going to be on for. Um, and if I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. But we'll run you through the basics um, of what we found out. So we'll start off on the map to see which dungeon is currently in rotation um it should as it is now with dynasty be on your map like so um i've seen a couple of guys in redbird and bdlg on on stream today and they have different weekly mutations so they're on the uh, us east server we're on the eu central and theirs is different to ours so we can assume that this is going to be random depending on the server that you're on and as you can see here at the bottom it says it changes in one day Three hours on the live servers it should be every week on the ptr to test it's going to be every 48 hours it's going to rotate between dynasty shipyard garner genesis and lazarus um, i'm hoping they do the other dungeons too but at the moment they said it's just those three so what you do is you head over to the dungeon you need to do the regular dungeon first which is where the original tuning orbs will still come into play um, we're going to assume that each rotation of mutations uh, you're going to have to run the, the normal dungeon first, which will keep those keys in use, and then you can get onto the mutated dungeons. So, we got tier 1 done, level 1 done, and we got it done at gold. I believe I have our score here. Let me show you. This was our score on level 1. Uh, it did take a couple of tries. But we got there so we managed to get it done in 29 minutes which gave us um a time bonus and didn't didn't take a penalty we killed 63 mobs it gave us some points we killed all the named enemies which is a thousand each um we didn't wipe and we only had eight respawns um so level one went okay level two was a little bit harder i believe i have our stats here too um you can see uh, it took us 36 minutes we didn't get a time penalty again um we got the enemies killed we got the named enemies killed we did have a team wipe which takes away 500 points and we had 13 respawns which we got through at 27,000 points 28,000 points which unlocked level number three which again we managed to complete but it took a bit longer <laughs> And it was bloody difficult. Um, we had a time penalty. It took us just under an hour. We had two team wipes and 40 respawns, which gave us a legendary score of minus 4,000. It's starting to get tough. Um, for us to progress to the next rank, I believe, yes, you need to get 20,000 points. So no deaths, no team wipes. And you should really complete it within those 40 minutes or just after um which will then unlock the next uh the next mutation so after us basically spending a bit of time in here we managed to get through uh level one two and three without really too much effort um we were using well we used a lot of potions mana and health um we were using honing stones we were using gemstone dust we were using coatings Within the PTR, you basically get given uh, a load of boxes with a load of random gear in. So what we tried to do is make sure that all of our gear, or, or at least as much of the gear, had some sort of corruption resistance on it. Given that Dynasty uh, Shipyard is full of corrupted, we were using uh, corruption ward, corruption resistance. So as you can see here on my uh, chest, I have a corruption ward, which gives uh, me 4.8% damage absorption against the corrupted. So that's all good. So there's going to be a lot of preparing, a lot of preparation, um you are definitely going to need major trophies in the higher higher zones and you are definitely going to need um yeah your what were we saying so your gear has to be pve gear now um a lot of us are focusing for pvp best in slot stuff you're gonna need pve gear uh so yeah your trophies your coatings your oak flam oak flam oak flesh bombs your gemstone dust and of course gems for your weapons so i was tanking so i was using carnelian gems um, but for this particular dun dungeon, you want to be using Sapphire. And the reason we want to be using Sapphire, if I have it with me here, is because of the damage effectiveness of that particular mob. So, because we were in Dynasty Shipyard, 
we were looking at corrupted so for our dps we took bow spear sword shield rapier um, but mainly bow spear for dynasty worked really well especially considering the end boss is an absolute pain to melee so we went uh, mostly ranged except me who would uh, just try and take the aggro and of course you can see on the, on the far right here arcane is great for corrupted so we were popping sapphire gems within our within our weapons um, I'll post a link to this in the description below. But for these mutations, this is going to become paramount that we uh, we work on our gear and make sure you're taking in the right the right weapons, the right perks, right the right armor, the honing stones, the consumables. All of that is extremely important. So as as I said, we we got through to level three without too much trouble, but then we couldn't actually complete it. So realistically, for us to get further, we're going to have to really make an effort. Um, what what can we get? So basically, level one you can get up to forty umbral shards if you get gold. All the way down to level ten, you can get up to six thousand umbral shards if you again get gold. I have a um, a list here to show you exactly what you get at each level. Uh, at level six, if you're if you have six hundred gear score item, it's going to take you one umbral shard to get to six oh one. If you're at 601, you want to get to 602, it's going to take you two Umbral Shards, and so on and so forth. All the way down to when you get to 624, you're going to need 2,500 Umbral Shards to get to 625. On the left here, you can see what you get for completing the mutation. So, as you can see here, it's uh, difficulty 1, difficulty 1, difficulty 1, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. So this is if you get bronze, silver, and gold. So T1 is bronze, T2 is silver. T3 is gold. So you get 27 shards for bronze, 33 for silver, 40 for gold. That's uh, level one. So on our third one, we got 53 because we got bronze. But if we had completed it within gold, we would have got 80. And that works all the way down. Again, I'll put the link in the description for this for you guys. No problem at all. Okay, so upgrading your gear score. So I still have a few shards here. I've got 62 left for me, and I've already upgraded my helm to 612. The, the way you do it is you click on your, your, your equipment, whether it's a weapon or an armor, and you click upgrade. What will happen is you'll, you'll see this uh, screen here where you've got your own shards, and if you want to upgrade it to 601, it's going to take one shard. If you want to upgrade it to 602, it's now going to take three shards. So one from level one and two from level two, so three in total. And that would go all the way. So I can, I can currently go... 54 it's when it gets kind of not complicated but uh interesting so what we did was um as i was playing throughout the day um i was upgrading my gear score as we went along basically so you can see my helm started out on 600 on the left here um i got the 25 con i got 215 323 but as we go up i've highlighted the things in green which actually changed so from 600 gear score to 606 you can see my armor rating went from 215 to 218 on the elemental and then 323 to 327 on the physical. Some minor increases, but it is increasing. Um, once we got to 609, because <laughs> I've got fantastic harvesting luck on my gear here, um, you can see that the harvesting luck went from 5% to 5.1%. And I'm going to assume that this is going to work across all of the perks and some of them are going to react differently. Unfortunately, I don't have the information here as to what's going to level up or on what. But we did test it again with the bow. We went from 600 to 609. And what you can see is that the damage number, which most of us look at, uh, 463 damage, went down to 431. The big damage number, which we're really interested in, is our thrust damage went from 181 to 182. And you can see again that the perk increased. It went from 2.8 to 2.9 um, on our refreshing move there for our cooldowns. So that's how you upgrade it. That's how that's going to change. I highly doubt I'm going to get to 625 gear score within the PTR. Um, I don't have the energy or the effort <laughs> or the resources to do it. Okay, so how do you actually get the dungeon mutation keys? Uh, I think we all know by now we're pretty fed up on how expensive uh, the vanilla dungeons are. Yeah, a lot of portal farming, a lot of farming, farming dailies and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's two ways. Number one is you can go to your faction vendor. You can run faction missions, ideally PvP boys. Um, you can buy rewards. You can head down to the commander. And what he has here is uh, mutated expedition tuning orb. 
which costs 10,000 tokens and 1,000 gold. Um, there is a timer there. Like always, New World are doing a great job at time gating a lot of things. Let me stop that. <laughs> but it's there. Um, I actually don't know. I'm going to assume that it's. Oh, I would like to do more than one a week, given that this is a weekly thing. Maybe it's one a day. I would, I would assume that it would be one a day. Um, but if any of you guys find out, let me know in the comments below, please. The alternative way to get your mutation keys is again through crafting them. If you look on your live servers now, you're going to see the gemstone dust has has gone through the roof. Um, I think on our server, it was like 10 gold a piece. It's now like 200. Crazy people were quick on the mark for that. Um, PTR is great for testing, but it's also great for investments. <laughs> so you, what you need to create your dungeon mutation keys is firstly level 200 in stone cutting. Um, and then you're going to need one corrupted lodestone, which we believe now are not on a pickup. So you will be able to buy these and trade these. So if you are a portrait farmer, you can now start selling your corrupted lodestones. Not sure how much these are going to go for. We have the Asmodium chisel. We have 10 rune stones. We have five energy cores and we have our uh, powerful gemstone dust. I just noted as well, the Asmodium chisel, 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 chisel um, doesn't say bind on pickup like the energy core here. So potentially, uh, I'm going to do a bit of research into this, whether the Asmodium Chisel can be traded as well. Um, that's how you get your dungeon keys. Ooh. Oh, man. I, I, okay. While looking at this, we have a cooldown of seven days per mutated expedition tuning orb. If you craft one item, you have to wait seven days to craft this item again. I'm going to hope that this is not the same for the faction vendor because given that these mutations are only open once a week and I ran this four or five times today alone um of course you can share keys of course you can buy keys but um this is supposed to be accessible um multiple times a day so uh, I, I really hope that these cooldown shares and remember this is in the ptr boys so um this isn't necessarily going to the live servers but it's going to give us a good indication a couple of other things to think about before um before i go while this patch is not out boys our dailies our gypsum casts on the live servers make sure that you are just collecting your gypsum casts if you're already at 590 you are going to need to be going to 600 before you start using your umbral shards so get your gypsum casts i would say get between five to six and maybe hold on to some orbs i, I don't know or I'm, I'm hoping you're going to get a couple of cheeky twos and three bumps from 590 to 600 but probably not <laughs> So um, get yourself a couple of casts ready to boost your um, your leg wear, all of this, plus your weapons. We are going to have to do more chess runs. We are going to have to do more dailies. I, I don't like the system. I don't like the end game system. It's it's a lot of grinding on things that you not necessarily wanting to do. But there it is. There's times I love it. There's times I don't like it. Lately, our chess runs have been awesome. We've been having mega PvP. And I'm hoping there was a discussion in February the performance of the game is going to be looked at. So hoping that the wars are going to get better. Hoping that the large-scale PvP is going to get better. Um, but at the moment, the mutations are looking awesome. At the moment, it doesn't look like there's a, um, a leaderboard system anywhere. So maybe within your own companies, you can do some fun things like see who gets it done quickest, see who can get the furthest, probably at this point. But we are on this journey to getting better gear, um, and we're back on the grind. I do believe it's too soon. Uh, increase the gear score but it is what it is um there we go that's what i want to know that that is what i know about um the dungeon mutations the expertise and how we are going to be leveling up our gear score what i'm going to try to do boys i'll be playing on this a little bit more over the next few days if i find anything interesting i'll just throw up a 30 second a minute video just to let you know what's going on and as always boys i appreciate you being here appreciate you watching uh, subscribe like all that good stuff and uh, i'll see you on the next one